Hey guys, welcome in. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. We are here today with a timeless reading for the Gemini Collective. So if Gemini is your sign, this reading might be for you. All right, Gemini, right off the bat, we're starting out with the Four of Cups as our central issue. We have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Looks to me like there was an opportunity for a partnership here. It looks like you're turning that partnership down. We're not interested in the recent past. The recent past, we have the Ace of Swords coming out with judgment on the bottom of the deck. There's something, if this is your reading, Gemini, there's something that occurred in your past that was reawakened, that you revisited, that you went back through and you've come out the other side with a better understanding of what it is you want. And because of that, you're rejecting any and everything that does not align with what it is you feel you're being called towards. Let's see, what's the near future here? That was the Hierophant that wanted to jump out. Okay, near future, we have the Eight of Swords and Strength coming out. So, Gemini, you're, you're, you know, like I said, you're turning down any type of offer that does not align with whatever it is you realize during this awakening process that you would have recently gone through. But now we're seeing the Eight of Swords coming out. It, it almost feels to me like we have... Um, You've awakened to something, but in doing so, it's kind of turned your world upside down a little bit, and it's caused more confusion than it has brought clarity, if that makes sense. With the Eight of Swords, this is us being mentally confused. This is us feeling tied up in our own heads. Luckily, we are able to get ourselves free of this, But whatever this is, is definitely tied to whatever it is you revisited from your past here. We're going to clarify these. So let's get the rest of the cards out. Show me what's crowning for Gemini. We have the Magician crowning you. So you are trying to manifest something here. Yeah, the Foundation, we have Judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. So like I said, subconsciously, you're still thinking about whatever this judgment card is representing for you. So whatever it is you went back and had an awakening or a realization about, you gained this sense of clarity, you cut through the noise, you're seeing clearly what it is you want to head towards, okay? And you're actively working on manifesting this. However, opportunities are arising for you, but you're over here caught up in your head and rejecting what spirit's trying to hand to you, right? It's like the feeling is of not even giving something a chance and then feeling mentally confused over it afterwards. Like, oh, should I have done that? Should I have not done that? Let's see here. Let's see this Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords? That was Ace of Pentacles that just fell out. Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands. This definitely has to do with that Ace of Pentacles again, the Emperor. Um, so on the Ace of Swords, Gemini, we have the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Emperor. So whatever this is, whatever judgment is representing here for you, this made you go back into a situation you've already been through, and it's made you think on what will bring you fulfillment and stability and make you feel make you feel like you're comfortable where you're at like you're wanting for nothing right that's what you're looking for here and it's feeling like a tall order with the 10 of wands which obviously it would be nothing is ever going to be perfect right 
but we see that that's what you're set on. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Emperor card, but then we have the Ten of Wands. So it's like you've realized what it is you want, but now you're starting to see that it might be very difficult to get exactly what it is you want. And with the Judgment card coming out multiple times now, you might actually be being asked to reevaluate what it is you took from this situation, this awakening. Let's see, show me this Eight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, the Five of Swords. So, right, so Gemini, there's something that you want to go after, but there's something that is holding you back here mentally. It feels to me like there's something from the past that's being projected onto current events. Um, it's like you're trying to fight a battle that no longer exists by having that battle with people who weren't involved in the original situation, if that makes, I hope that makes sense. But this is what's causing all of this mental confusion. It's like you get to a place where you're like, no, I understand, you know, you're trying to think, you're trying to think your way logically and rationally out of an emotional paper bag. And it's not working. We've got all these swords, all these wands, all these pentacles, and the only water that we see is this four of cups that you're turning down. There's a need for you to look honestly at that emotional side of yourself, and there might be some hesitation to do so. But I feel like this is why we keep seeing judgment come out. It's like you figured everything out except the emotional side of things. So you're manifesting from a place of almost having a full complete picture of what it is you're looking for. But you're like, oh, I kind of don't want to deal with the emotional side of that. That's a little bit messy. So Gemini, what it looks like to me is you're going to have to take off the, the air hat a little bit and put on the water hat a little bit more and integrate some of these emotional aspects that it feels like you're trying to avoid, likely out of the fact that you have been hurt in the past. But in order to gain the clarity you need and to move forward with what it is you're trying to bring into your life, you need to have a clear understanding of what it is you want emotionally as well, not just mentally and physically. So that, my friends, that is the guidance. That's why judgment keeps popping back out. We need to go back to whatever it was that we dealt with and we really need to dig into those painful emotional aspects of whatever situation it is that you've been dealing with. Then after that, we're going to see the blindfold coming off in the Ace, I'm sorry, in the Ace of Swords, interesting. The blindfold coming off in the Eight of Swords. Then we'll be able to move forward without all of this tension. Yeah justice on the bottom of the deck. You'll find balance, but we need to integrate all of the elements, all the aspects of ourself in order to get ourselves to this place of equilibrium. All right, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it at today. I truly hope this finds whoever needs to hear it and it brings some level of clarity or confirmation for you. I love you guys so much. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will talk to you again soon.